Hello and welcome to the finale of the Subnautica Trivia series. In this video, the four winners from my three Subnautica Trivia videos will compete to see who is the best of the best. I will be asking them 10 Subnautica related questions, and these questions won't be easy. Also, I may have used your suggestions, so keep your eyes peeled. Feel free to follow along and see how much you know about Subnautica. Let me know what score you get in the comment section down below. Now, let's introduce the contestants. From the first Subnautica trivia video, we have Kiko and Tiger Gut, who tied in first place. From the second Subnautica trivia video, we have Kev Kev, and from the third Subnautica trivia video, we have King Nocho. If you've been following this series, let me know in the comment section below who you think's going to win. Next, for those of you who weren't here the last few times, let's go over the rules. I ask each contestant a question. Depending on how correct their answer is, they get between 1 and 3 points. The possible points a contestant can receive is specific to each question, and of course, if a contestant answered incorrectly, they receive 0 points. After the rules were established, and I made sure the contestants wouldn't cheat by telling them to share their screens with me, we got right into the action. Question number 1. Name as many prawn suit upgrades as you can, including prawn arms. 1 point for 1 to 3 upgrades, 2 points for 4 to 6 upgrades, and 3 points for 7 or more upgrades. Depth 1, depth 2, thermal reactor, your grapple arm, propulsion, cannon arm, torpedo arm, drill arm, reinforced storage, there's engine efficiency. I think that's more than seven, so I think I'm gonna put you at three points. Grappling arm, drill arm, propulsion arm, jump jet upgrade, uh, crush depth mark one, crush depth mark two, storage upgrade, hull reinforcement. Yep, those are correct, and uh, three points. So there's the drill arm, then there's the grappling hook, depth mark one, depth uh, mark two and a storage upgrade the like shield like defense upgrade thing uh i went blank uh, i'll stop there that's um two points then for six upgrades okay so we have the missile launcher the prawn suit gravity arm we have the grappler the drill the backpack storage we can like put extra items and stuff and you have the you know the depth modules okay so i'm gonna count that as seven because there are two depth modules so you're gonna get three points Question number two. Name as many hostile fauna that are not leviathan class organisms as you can. One point for one to three creatures, two points for four to six creatures, and three points for seven or more creatures. Bleeder, biter, blighter, cave crawler, blood crawler, uh, amp eel, sand shark, bone shark, stalker, uh, warper. Yes, that's more than seven, which means three points. Stalker, bone shark, amp eel. Crab squid, crab snake, biter, blighter, sand shark, leader. All right, that's nine of them, so that's three points. There's the crabfish, crabfish, the mesmer, and the bone shark. I'm so nervous. I'm sorry. I'll stop there. I'm, I'm actually, I don't know what's happening. Yeah. Okay, so that would be one point. The stalker, the bone sharks. Oh, um, cave crawlers, the mesmer. Oh, the crab squid, of course. Isn't lava lizard sand shark? And that is seven, so that's all three points. Question number three: Name the reason you can find a Markiplier doll and a toy car inside Life Pod Seven, a Life Pod located in the Crag Field. Because his fabricator's thing was bust, it was fried. You have gotten all three answers, I believe, correct so far. So you're at nine points. It's because there was a child aboard. That is incorrect. The answer is a fabricator malfunction. Like a souvenir someone brought, or like I know in the PDA it says like just an unusual doll. That's incorrect. The answer is a fabricator malfunction. It's either that the guy it wasn't the life pod, it was Markiplier, or he just took the doll with him. It's just merch of him. That is incorrect. So the fabricator and the life pod um, stopped working properly, and then it, it made those things instead of the things it was supposed to make. Question number four. Name the three vehicle upgrades that can be used in the Seamoth and the Prawn Suit. So there's the reinforced hull, there's storage, which can be used up to four times, and engine efficiency. Yep, that's all three of them, so that's three points. Storage, hull protection, and energy efficiency. Yes, that's correct. And that's nine points. So there's the storage, there's the defense, and then there's the, yeah, efficiency. Yes, those are the three, so three points. The, the storage. Yeah, skip, please. Okay, so that's one point. Question number five. What two creatures are unique to the Jelly Shroom Caves? One point for one correct answer and three points for both correct answers. Oculus and Crab Snake. Yep, that's correct, and you get three points. Oculus and Crab Snake. That is correct, a nice job, and you get three points. Uh, so there's the Crab Snake. Yeah, I don't know. So that means you get one point. The Oculus. Uh, you know those pink 
snakes. Yeah, I think you're talking about the crab snake, so I'll give you three points. Question number six. What are the four main categories that divide up the fabricator? One point for one to two of the sections, two points for three of the sections, and three for all four sections. So there's materials and like construction. There is equipment, there's food and water, and deployables. Okay, so materials counts as resources. Construction is incorrect. You said equipment, which is a subcategory of personal, so that's also incorrect. Food and water counts as sustenance. Deployables is correct, so you get two points. Natural resources, sustenance, personal, and electronics. Okay, so natural resources counts as resources. Sustenance and personal are both correct, and electronics is incorrect. So you'll get two points. So one of them is tools, one of them is like body, and then there's um, like materials and advanced materials. Okay, so tools is incorrect. Body I will count as personal, and materials counts as resources, so you'll get one point for two correct answers. Food and nutrition, deployables, materials, and tools. Okay, so food and water is sustenance, so we'll count that. Um, deployables is correct. Materials counts as resources, but tools is incorrect, so you'll get two points for that. Question number seven. What is the only fauna known to be able to hack the PDA? Mesmer. Yep, that's correct, and three points. Mesmer. Yes, sir, and that'll give you three points. Mesmer. Yes, that is correct, and that'll be three points. The Mesmer. Yes, that is correct. Nice, and that'll give you three points. Question number eight. Name the captain of the Aurora. Well, the second officer was Keen. Darn, I don't, I don't got this one. So, the captain of the Aurora was Captain Hollister. Hot dog Hollister. Yes, sir. Nice. 20 points. I know Officer Keen, but I don't know the captain. So, the captain of the Aurora would be Captain Hollister. I don't actually know. I'm just gonna guess something here. Um answer for the meme squidward <laughs> yeah so squidward is not the captain of the aurora that would actually be captain hollister question number nine what are the three suits that riley robinson can wear in subnautica one point for one suit two points for two suits and three points for all three suits okay there's still suit uh there's reinforced dive suit and radiation suit yes that is all three so you get three points the radiation suit, the reinforced dive suit, and the still suit. Nice job. That is all three of them, so you'll get three points. So there's the reinforced dive suit, the water filtration suit, I don't know the exact name, and the re radioactive suit. Yes, the reinforced dive suit is correct. For the water filtration suit, I think you're talking about the still suit, so I'll give that to you. And for the radioactive suit, I think you're talking about the radiation suit, so I'll give you that one as well. So that's three points. Okay, um, so we have the diving suit, the radiation suit, and the reinforced suit. So the dive suit, which I think you're talking about the suit that Riley has on when you start the game, is technically not a suit. The other one would be the still suit. So you got two of those correct, which means you get two points. Question number 10. What two materials are needed to make polyaniline? One point for one material and three points for both materials. So that's hydrochloric acid and gold yes those are both of the materials so you get three points it's hydrochloric acid and gold yep those are the two materials so we all get three points uh, you need bleach i think and the red blood from the uh, from the blood kelp zone i i forget all the names <laughs> So, bleach is actually not a material, and with the blood oil, I think you're thinking about another material, but the correct answer will be hydrochloric acid and gold. Benzene, and what are those fungus called? What are they like, purple-like mushrooms? So, benzene is incorrect, and I think you're on the right track, you're talking about mushrooms. Deep shrooms are used to make hydrochloric acid, which is one ingredient, the other ingredient would be gold. Looks like we have a tie. Kignocho and Kevkev are currently tied in first place with 26 points each. This means we're on to a tiebreak round. Here are the rules. This round acts as a sudden death round. Each question, if correct, gives you one point. Whoever misses a question first, loses. These questions are especially hard, so buckle up and let's go. Question number one. Name seven or more edible fish in Subnautica. Oculus, eye eye, red eye eye, magma, boomer, gary fish, spade fish, Whole fish, bladder. Yes, those are correct, so one point. Bladderfish, peeper, oculus, eye eye, red eye eye, magmarang, whole fish, poop fish, hoverfish. Yes, that's more than seven, so you got that correct, so one point. 
Question number two. Name the three biomes where precursor caches are located. These are not the alien arc or teleporter caches, but the alien sanctuary spread throughout the world. So there's Northern Blood Cup, Dunes, and Sea Treader's Path. So everything is correct there, but it's not the Sea Treader's Path. It's actually the Sparse Reef. The Lost River, the Crag Field, and the Mushroom Forest. So the Mushroom Forest and the Cragfield are actually teleporter caches, and the Lost River is actually a laboratory cache, so that is incorrect. Question number three. What materials, and how many of them do you need to make benzene? Three blood oil. Yes, that's correct, and one point. Three blood oil. Yes, that is correct, nice job, and one point. Question number four. How many large wrecks are there in Subnautica? So not the small wrecks, but the large wrecks. Uh, I'm just gonna guess 16. That is incorrect. The correct answer would be 23. I'm gonna guess 22. Dude, you're off by one. There's no way. No! No! Question number five. How much health does a Cyclops have? It's 1,500. Wow, nice job. That is correct, and that'll give you one point. 5,000? Unfortunately, that is incorrect. The correct answer will be 1,500. And well, there you have it. Honestly, both King Nocho and Kev Kev are equal. They're both insane, and in the end, it really just came down to a 50-50 chance. But let's go over the results. Coming in fourth, we have Kiko with 15 points. Coming in third, we have Tiger Gut with 17 points. Coming in second, we have King Nocha with 28 points. And coming in first, with 29 points, we have Kev Kev. Every single one of you guys is amazing. I want to thank everyone who has participated in and or watched this series with me. Thank you guys so much for all the support recently. When Subnautica Below Zero goes full release, I will most likely be doing a series similar to this one, Subnautica Below Zero Trivia. If you want to participate in that, come join my Discord server. The link is in the description. When I start that series, I will post a giveaway and the contestants will be randomly selected. It's also a really fun place to hang out. I'm also considering doing a Season 2 of Subnautica Trivia. Let me know if you want to see that in the comment section below. Also, let me know in the comment section below if you have any question ideas that I should have used or that I could use in Subnautica Below Zero Trivia. Any questions or concerns? Please let me know. You already know I will be trying to respond to all the comments I receive. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. These take a ton of editing and planning, so it would help me out a ton if you guys would like and subscribe. It's completely free. Help me reach 3,000 subscribers as fast as possible. Also, please check out my other Subnautica content, you may like it. Check out my Twitch and please support me on Patreon. Thanks to my patrons, Sir Lord Mister, King Nocho, and Charles the Bold Action Man. Become a patron and support today. And I will see you guys in the next video.